Hi, Chris McClune here at FDIC International 2023. I'm here today with Mike Weiss. He's the president of Weiss Fire and Safety. And we're going to talk a bit about a couple of their products. Well, actually, three of their products. We're going to talk about brush trucks, draft commander, and a newly acquired product, foam commander. So, Mike, could you just walk me through what makes a Weiss brush truck uh, unique uh, when compared with other brush trucks that are available in, in the market? Yeah, I would have to say the first thing is, is that we listen to our customer. If you go to our website at weissfiresafety.com and look at our recent deliveries, you'll see that we don't really have a model A, B, or C. Every truck is uniquely built with the features that our customers want to do the job. So let me uh, kind of point out some things that, uh, uh, that we have on our truck here. This is my demo. This was my design, but over the 40 years or so of doing this, we've kind of come to learn what customers like and what they want and what they don't want. Uh, a relatively new technology for the wildland fire industry is thermal imaging cameras or a flare system on a truck. So we've got a thermal imaging uh, camera here. It allows you to see through the smoke, see into the dangerous situations. Uh, that's something out of the wildland fires that it's really you know important is the safety to the firefighters. Like, talk about some of the things that you did on the interior of the truck that makes it unique. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that uh, our customers ask for a lot is they need uh, additional storage for equipment and so forth. So what we do is we'll pull out the back seat and upfit it with a what we call a rear uh, a rear seat conversion. So it allows them to store equipment. They can mount equipment uh, inside the cab. So all of our bodies that we build are aluminum and they're custom designed. The compartments are custom designed with the features uh, to carry the equipment that the customer wants. In this case here, uh, we put in 24 inch deep compartments. Uh, that, so they're deep, they're just a couple inches. Uh, they're within a few inches of being what you'd see on a custom engine. Uh, adjustable shelves. Uh, this, one of the unique things here is that we powder coated the body. The entire body is powder coated black and gray. We kind of did the gray to give it some texture and, and everything. So uh, the advantage of this is, is that in a few years, the aluminum is not going to be all faded out and oxidized. So it give and, 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 and powder coating is, is more durable than paint. One more thing that I'd like to point out that, that kind of goes to your first question, Chris, is what kind of sets us apart from, from everybody else. Our plumbing system is custom designed specifically for this truck with the amount of discharges that they want and where they want them. And with that, stainless steel pumping is not any, or stainless steel plumbing is not anything new to the fire service, but it's all TIG welded. And we use Victolic fittings, we use groove fittings, so repair is very easy. Within 10 minutes, I can be inside this pump to do any repairs that I need. Another thing is we use only fire service valves. In this case, we use acrid valves. And so these valves are kittable, they're replaceable. You shouldn't need a pipe wrench. My, my philosophy is you shouldn't need a pipe wrench if you need to get into plumbing repairs. Undo three bolts, drop out the valve, pop in the new kit, put it back together. Another feature that we have that uh, some find unique, we have a custom storage tray here that uh, people commonly ask, well, what can I put in here? And I say, anything that fits, anything you want. Rolls of hose, our suction hose, long tools, uh, just anything you want. Well, we moved over to the Draft Commander. Mike, could you describe the Draft Commander and talk a little bit about how it can help EVTs and driver operators. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. So uh, in order to do that, I wanna give you a little brief history of the Draft Commander. We first developed it and took it to market in 2007. And it started out to be just for mobile pump testing. We recognized the need for mobile pump testing because people weren't testing their trucks because they didn't have a good means to do so. They didn't have a pit, they didn't have a static source of water. So we decided to develop a product that they can, you can take to the station, you can do it on your schedule, any place that you wanna do it at, you just need a water source. And then it started turning into a training device that allows uh, fire departments to train their, their driver operators, um, 
and 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 then turn into live water fire. So we we wanted to be able to put guys on the ground with nozzles in their hands, boots on the ground, and be able to uh, flow water and recycle water. That. The draft commander is all about recycling the water and helping save the environment. So we've come around to the back of the draft commander. And as Mike, as Mike mentioned, it, the draft commander itself has been around for a while, but they're always innovating. They're always adding to it. They're always expanding the capability. So, Mike, could you explain the training receiver that we're standing in front of here? Yeah. So as I mentioned earlier, we, we over the years, we've been hearing a lot of customers say, we want to be able to flow water and, and do training. So... We want to put guys on the ground with nozzles in their hand and uh, and recapture that water. Obviously, the uh, uh, it, it's it's difficult to do that in arid climates, you know, in, in the summertime. It, the, uh, the optics of that doesn't look real good. So we're able to put guys on the ground, nozzles in their hand, draft water, or use the mobile hydrant that we have on the front and recapture all that water. Another uh, add-on item that we've had is is something that we feel uh, is very, very important to the fire service, uh, NFPA 19, uh, 1862, which deals with the um, testing nozzles. So uh, you test your pumps, you can test your nozzles, you can train uh, all in controlled situations whenever you wanna do it. Finally, Mike, your most recent acquisition the foam commander. Can you just give us a real quick run through on, on what that is and kind of what the plans are? Yeah. So uh, here just recently, I mean, very recently, we acquired the foam trailer business from UPF. Uh, under the UPF title, uh, they, they called it their protector series. So we wanted to uh, kind of keep it in, in our family. We have the draft commander. Now we have the foam commander. So that's fresh, it's brand new, and something that uh, we're just getting started with. So if you have foam tote or foam trailer needs, please give us a call. All right, perfect. Well, thank you again, Mike, for, yep. for taking some time today. If anyone needs to find out more information about the company or any of the products, how can they reach you? Uh, you can get a hold of us through WeissFireSafety.com or my cell phone or email but all of our information is available on our website and you can contact us through there. Perfect. Well, again, this has been Chris McLoon at FDIC International 2023 talking with Mike Weiss. Have a good one and stay safe.